So welcome, welcome everybody to Channeling Korea. And today is the last day of February and it is 2021. So let's just begin, let's begin by doing a short meditation so that um, we can all kind of be more present. And then the channeling can begin. So let's take a deep breath in. And then take another deep breath in. And just let it all go. And then continue to take a third deep breath in. And let it all go. And as you breathe out, just let go of anything that has been occupying your mind and just choose. Hold the intention that you want to be, just be here, be here with your body. Be completely present. Tuning in to your own body rhythm and following the rhythm of your own breathing. And as you breathe in and breathe out, you are actually pulling in energy, energy from the ether. And even though you may not be able to see the energy, or maybe you can, and maybe you can feel the energy, or maybe you cannot. That's okay. Just know that every time you breathe in, you are bringing in oxygen and also exchanging energy with your environment. And just because not all of us can see the energy or feel the energy, it does not mean that it's not there. Space is not empty. Space is full of energy. So set the intention that you would like to pull in the energies that support you to be here and now. And let go of any thoughts or energies that is taking you away from this moment, from being with you in this moment. And when you feel yourself be becoming more relaxed and in tune with this moment, then set the intention that you want to shift your focus away from your head and all the way into your heart. And imagine that you can actually breathe in through your heart. Just imagine it. Imagine that you take a new energy into your heart. And as you breathe out, breathe out anything that does not support you to be in this moment. In your heart, choose to be at one with yourself, to be at peace with yourself, to accept all that you are in this moment without requiring anything else. Be completely accepting of what is and who you are 
in this moment. As you become at peace and at one with yourself, allow the sense of unconditional love to become stronger and bigger and more potent within you. Unconditional love, joy, light, love. That is what we truly are. Hold the intention that when you breathe in, breathe in the energies that resonate with joy, light, love. And as you breathe out, breathe out any energies that distract you from joy, light, love. And allow this joy, light, love to surround you and be more and more concentrated within you and around you. Open your heart to all that you are. Open your heart to this moment. Open your heart to all of the universe within you because you are the universe. Within you is all of the universe. You are a fractal image of the whole universe. That is who you truly are. And the patterns within you All the patterns within you, just like your blood vessels. It's really the pattern of the universe in a very condensed and small version it is encoded within you so that from you, as you, if you choose to, you can start to move out and explore the universe to get the know, to get to know the universe unfolding through you if you allow that. That is what I mean by you hold the pattern of the universe.
If you could only see yourself, if you could only feel who you truly are, the magnificent grandeur of you. This body, the seemingly frail body that you think of as you is simply a momentary and localized expression of you. Even though there is a localized version of you on earth, there are also many other representation of you all around different parts of the universe, around as many parts of the universe as your consciousness care to observe, want to observe, and chooses to observe. A part of you is connected to all of the other parts of you, and you don't always Remember how to connect with all the other parts of you. But unconsciously, you are all linked. All the different versions of you scattered around the universe, scattered around the multiverses. experimenting, exploring, witnessing, influencing. Experiencing. You don't need to know all the other parts. It's not necessary to know. Because you are here to enjoy this this moment in this location at this time in this universe. That is your job just to be here, to experience this moment. Not being able to connect to all the other parts of you that is having other experiences in other playgrounds in other universes does not detract from this experience. And if you really, really want to know, even though you may not be able to consciously access those other experiences, the full experiences of you at an unconscious level, you know. You know how the others, the other versions of you are doing unconsciously. You are linked 
to all of their experiences. And you can draw on their experiences as well, should you choose to. But why? But why choose to? There is already another version of you that is having that full experience. So honor, honor this moment and fully be here in this moment to experience all that is unfolding around you. Perhaps it is easier to enjoy your experience when things are going well. And that is simply an illusion on some level you grow your soul grow even more when you're going through more challenging experiences because it is those experience that really call on you to become more creative, to really dig deep within yourself, to come up with solutions to what it is that you are exploring to what it is that you're experiencing, to shift your experience. Nobody likes to have challenge. It is very normal. Nobody likes to have full body experience of challenging realities at a soul level though. What it is that you are able to take from, to glean from in the situation that you seem to think is challenging. You create these challenge, these challenges and experiences for ourselves. We do. <laughs> Our soul is such an adventure, an adventurer. It has this insatiable, insatiable passion to learn, to get the most out of every playground. It is often not about having the most pleasant experiences. 
sometimes it is also about getting the most experiences, the most insights out of a situation. Feel within your heart. Truly feel within your heart. Clear your heart. Clear your heart with preconceived ideas. Let go of the layers and layers of conditioning. Get back. Get back to the mindset of the adventurous soul that you are. of the spiritual warrior that you all are. That is here. What are you here to learn, my dear warrior, my dear spiritual warrior? You did not come here to be a blade of grass, to be walked on. You came here to discover what is within your soul. You came here to discover the brilliance of your light, the strength of your might. This is what you are here truly to discover. And sometimes you create situations for yourself to polish the diamond that is within you. The light within you, you are light. You are joy, light, love. Your work here is to release the light within you. What do you need to do to polish your soul, to polish and clear out your heart so that you can let the brilliance within you to come out and shine, shine so brightly. That no darkness can obscure you. What do you need to let go of? 
to allow yourself to be able to contain and shine this light within you so that everyone can see, everyone can feel, everyone around you can benefit. You're not a light. You're not the brilliant, beautiful warrior soul within for yourself only. You're here for everyone else. Find, find that light within yourself and find the courage within yourself to polish all of the diamond within you so that it can shine. The time and the space is here and now that is calling on each and every one of us to reach in and recognize the brilliance and recognize what it is that needed to come out. It is easier than you think. Withholding is hard. Allowing is easy. Allow your own brilliance the light within you to come out. That spark of brilliance within you needed to and wanted to come out. And what is required is simply to be open, to be open to that opportunity, to not allow yourself to be shut down. To connect with that brilliance within you. to let go of all the disconnection within yourself, all the self-denial, all the self-loathing, all of the self-doubt, all of the worrying, Those are just illusions. They are what you become.
and you do not allow your brilliance to come out. When you distort the light within yourself, when you create dead corners for yourself, when you disconnect your own brilliance, when you deny what's within you, you hold that brilliance within you hostage. And that brilliance is always looking for an opportunity to come out. And it would try to create difficult situations for you to call upon the brilliance within you to come out. In other words, you paint yourself into a corner so that you can break out. And that's the brilliance of your soul. So if you find yourself in the pickle, then you know that it is time to break out. How to break out? Take the simplest route. Take the simplest route to break out. The simplest route may not be the easiest one. And it is the most direct one. It is not the easiest simply because you are new at it. The more you take the simple roots the easier it becomes. The more you allow the brilliance within you to shine out, to be discovered, the easier it gets. So connect, connect with that brilliance that is within you. And I guarantee each and every one has that within them. It may be buried rather deep, but everyone has it. No one, 
No one is without their gifts. Everyone. is brilliant in their own ways. Connect with your own brilliance. Feel it. Trust it. Breathe it in. Bring more energy within yourself. Your brilliance does not need the energy. It's already there. It has always been there. When you bring in the energy, you simply allow yourself to connect with you, with the brilliance within you, even more directly. It is like music. You can have a beautiful piece of music, but playing barely able to hear it. The beautiful melody is all there, but because the volume is so soft, you can barely hear it. Bring in more energy. Turn the dial up. Turn the volume up. So that you can connect with it. So that you can feel it within you. When you connect to it, it becomes real becomes real for you, so real. That even the people outside of you will start to be able to notice it, to be affected by it. So be with your brilliance. Choose that. And focus on that. And breathe it in. Bring in the energy. Turn up the volume. Turn it up to when you can feel it all the time. When you're connected to it, you are affected. And you are acting out of your own brilliance. Allow your own brilliance to shine out, to vibrate out, to affect all of you within you and around you. Allow your brilliance
to come full out. Not to show off, but simply because you cannot hide it anymore when you are so connected with who you truly are, that brilliance within you. It's able to shine out. For all to see, for everyone to connect to it as well. Your light reminds other people of their own light. And you draw people who are also committed to bringing out their own light to you. And those who are not committed to their own light will hide from you because they know instinctively that if they come close to you, they would also be turned on as well, unconsciously. That is what light does. Light connects with light. Light informs light. There is information within light. You cannot see it. And you can feel it. Your body can feel it. Your DNA reacts to it. It knows, even though your mind may not have caught up with it yet. You know, consciously or unconsciously, you have all it takes to interpret and decipher the message within light. It is not something that can be taught It simply is. All you're doing is remembering how to access that information. No one can teach you. You just remember when you choose to. So choose, choose to look at the light within you. Choose to allow that light to start to unpack. Choose 
choose to become the light. Resistance is futile. You are the light. Resist no more. Allow your brilliance to come through. And be all that you can be in this moment. We would love for you to do that, to be that, to be you. Thank you. Thank you for allowing us to remind you We do this out of love. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs>